player on the program Dancing with Stars. In addition, she has made a public service announcement about abstinence with a Jersey guy nicknamed The Situation. I hope you're as committed to safe sex as you are those abs. I know you're all about that abstinence thing, you know, but I mean, come on, B. Palin, are you serious? Like, you're not gonna hook up with, like, before you're married? For real. For real. I know how hard it is to be a teen parent. You know what, I totally respect that. And I totally respect abstinence. I mean, it actually has the word abstinence. I mean, come on, <laughs> I'm the situation, I love that. Very funny, but I'm worried about you and you practicing safe sex. We got the safe part down pat. What pile? Magnums. Well, I'm glad that we agree on one thing. Pause before you play. Pause before you play, that's probably the most important thing. All right, that's on YouTube. Uh, has not been broadcast on any TV yet. Joining us from Washington to react, Sandy Rios, president of the Culture Campaign, a family values group. All right, Ms. Rios, is that ad uh, good, bad, ugly? What is it? I'm not opposing to the ad at all. I'm, I'm glad Bristol has uh, gone public with her uh, idea that abstinence is good. And <laughs> the ad is funny and it's amusing. I just, uh, I'm afraid it's a half measure. That's the only problem that I have with it. It is the abstinence plus uh, message that is being pushed now in public schools. You know, there was a strong abstinence movement under President Bush that was very effective. Teen pregnancy was uh, reducing, you know, we were having articles in the paper. Why are there less pregnancies? But they never seemed to want to talk about the fact that children were being instructed very effectively to abstain from sex before marriage. The abstinence plus message is a mixed message, and the people that push it, like the Candies Foundation, just simply believe that if you can reduce teen pregnancy, that's the end game. Uh, those of us that believe in abstinence believe that that's a half measure. Okay, it's not I got, just, I got it. Now, the Candies yeah. Foundation is something that Bristol Palin has been involved with, right? What what exactly is the Candies Foundation? Well, my understanding is that they're they say that they want to change the way teenagers and young people think and they want to promote uh, they want to reduce teen pregnancy that is the end game for them which is what you know the uh, comprehensive sex education in public schools that's what drives that but my point is this bill it's not just not having babies that we want our teenagers to uh, that's to be the end game there's a lot more at stake here well there's and there heart. is and there isn't in the sense that there's some people who say look we want to teach the children uh, morals and we don't believe in sex outside of marriage and, and this that, and the other thing but in the policy crew they you know the separation of church and state and all of that rejects that entirely so I'm trying to figure out whether um, look these are two very high profile people Bristol Palin it's particularly after the dancing show and Michael Sarantino the situation on the Jersey show right they're, they're, they're two you know, the kids will listen to them, they'll watch them, they get their attention. So the message from uh, Bristol Palin is, look, I uh, made a mistake. Uh, now I know how hard it is to be a 20-year-old single mother, and I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to remain abstinent until marriage. And then you have Sarantino saying, okay, I totally respect that. You have to have totally in there, of course, to reach the kids. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have condoms, and then he flashes them. So... It seems that both sides are covered here. Is there anything wrong with that? The problem, Bill, it's not that you, you, can, you can make the case for abstinence instruction without, con, you know, allowing well, Sure, you didn't have to have the practical. gratuitous condoms appear. No, 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 no. But what, no, no, what I'm saying is that you need to tell teenagers that condoms, let's get practical, condoms do not prevent sexually transmitted diseases. Condoms do not prevent broken hearts. Condoms do not prevent young teens and teenagers Yeah, but you're not going to get a so message like that in the PSA, in you know. Uh, for no, 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 it's not the P, but I'm talking about the deeper meaning. Uh, no, you're right. The PSA was cute. Okay, but that's what I want to focus short. in on now. You watching okay. that from, from the vantage point of your group, a conservative family values group, <laughs> do you want kids to watch this or not? It's better than nothing, but it's only a half measure. It's not enough because okay. you talk about uh, the situation. What does it mean that he's not going? He's going to have lots of sex, but he's going to be safe. He's going to use condoms. That means he's going to be susceptible to STDs. He's going to be less likely to be able to commit it and be committed in a marital relationship and eventually enjoy the full beauty of family right, and children. Well, you need to give him a call, Sandy. We don't know and, about that stuff. And tell him. I will. I, I will do that. that. Maybe an appearance on the Jersey at this point. Yeah, All right, yeah. we appreciate it, Ms. Rios. Okay. Thank you. When we come right back, 